it's wash day Sunday again, and I don't want to wash my hair, but the last time I did a wash day chit chat video, I had a lot of fun talking to you guys, so I figured, hey, I'll do it again. Hopefully you guys will come along for the ride, because I don't want to wash my hair, but I'm trying to stay on my routine, so here we go. Hey, cute people. I washed my hair, and I wish I had done this earlier, but I didn't. So, I just want to say Happy Easter, because it's Easter. I should be in church somewhere, right? Praising the Lord, but I praise Him every day. But, yeah, so I figured I'd just go ahead and wash my hair. Like I said, I had fun in the last video I did, talking just a little bit about the Empire of the Show. And I decided to do it again today, because I wanted to wish you all a Happy Easter. And it made me think about what I used to do for Easter when I was a young girl. I remember my mother used to dress me and my sister up really, really cute. I remember she used to do our hair. And she only did it on Easter. And that was up in a bun. You know how now you see girls with the um, hairstyle where they tuck the bun under. I don't know what you would call it, but you tuck your bun under. She used to pin it under, you know, in a bun. Flatten the bent bun out, then tuck it under. Oh, I used to love that style. Oh, I had to be at least seven, eight, nine years old, something like that. But she'd only do it then. And now that I can do it myself, which I have done it, and I think I've done it in a um, video and posted it here online. If I did, I'll post it so you guys can see it. But I used to love that hairstyle, but she only would do it on Easter. I don't know. But I don't remember where we used to go for Easter. I know we used to get dressed, you know, have a little, at that time, you know, you get your little gloves. Yeah, remember? If you're my age, you may remember. Get your little shoes and little pocketbook. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know what little girls do. <laughs> this, this dead age. But then when I got older, I remember, like, in the early 80s, everyone used to go to Coney Island. In my neighborhood, I used to live in Bedford Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, Lafayette Gardens. And everybody used to get, um, well, as a matter of fact, that's where it started. Nope, that's not true. It started when I lived in Queens because everyone used to buy, especially the guys, would always get a Lee Denim outfit. If you live in New York, you may remember those days, a Lee Denim outfit. And whatever kind of hat they would wear, Kango, whatever it was, and Adidas sneakers, quit playing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And everyone would go to Coney Island. So if you go to Coney Island, you may see your high school friends there, your friends from around the way, your cousin's friends that you know from around their way, and everybody will be at Coney Island. So again, I wonder what people do nowadays. What are you guys going to be doing for Easter? Let me know in the comment section. Me, as you can see, I'm washing my hair, and I'm trying something different, something new, and I'm just using, yeah, this is the first time I'm using it, the Shea Moisture Organic coconut and hibiscus curl and shine shampoo i've used it already i washed my hair let me see i can't say my hair feels like the softest it's ever felt i mean i don't have any complaints but it feels really good one thing i can say for sure all that gook i had in my hair during the whole week is definitely gone. My hair is not, but it's not stripped. That's one thing I can say. It's not stripped. It feels good. And it feels really, really clean. This stuff's, you know, it smells so good. So this is not a review. And I most likely won't review these products because Shea Moisture has come out with 20 lines since this one here. Yeah, and I've had this for quite some time. So I figured I'd go ahead and um start using it. But one thing I can say, it smells really, really good. And like I said, my hair feels really clean, not stripped, but not really, really soft. You know, really soft, if that makes sense. And I know it does to you. So then I'm going to use the Curl and Style Milk. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to use this in my hair, Wet the Hole and Shine. Moisture mist, and I believe you can use this in your hair wet or dry. So I'm going to use it in my hair wet. And throughout the week, I'll use this too. Let's see what it sprays like. Because again, like I said, I have it. It smells so good though. It's an oil. Let's see. 
that's what it sprayed like and for the first time yes I'm going to be using the curl enhancing smoothie and the curl souffle yeah I'm going to use all this this is definitely shea moisture organic coconut and hibiscus lime week yeah I figured like I said I haven't used it so I may as well go ahead and try it and as you can see I told you before I always keep my hair in twists I don't take the twists out they come out but I try to keep my hair twisted as much as possible so that I can eliminate as much tangles I don't want a lot of tangles in my hair but yeah, so it's Easter, y'all, and tonight I want to sit down and watch the Ten Commandments, because I usually try to watch the Ten Commandments every Easter. And I can just have it on the television, and not that I'm necessarily watching it. And this here, I'm using the Curl and Style Milk. It doesn't have to be that I'm necessarily watching it, but I have to have the Ten Commandments on my television. And especially since it's coming on and it's Easter. Yeah. I need to really give myself a deep detangling. That's what I'll call it because I really need to do that to my hair. It really needs to be detangled. But I'll do that next week. I'll try to get along here as much as I can. But yeah, I know a lot of people today are in church. Maybe even in Coney Island because it's not raining. I don't know what the weather is like today. But I can say what we can see is not raining here in New York. So maybe a lot of people are doing a lot of things outdoors. You know, definitely spending it with family, I know for sure. And me, myself... Like I mentioned, I'm not overly religious in the sense that I have to be in church or anything like that. Praising him every day is what I you know, want to do. So I do it. And then I'm going to use some of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'm not going to use a lot of any of this stuff. Just going to use a little bit. And like I said, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys because... I do not. Oh my goodness. I don't know why it is, but I don't feel like doing my hair. It's not like, it's not like sometimes lately. It's like lately all the time. Now I can see why when women get to be older, they would cut their hair. Because <laughs> they don't want to do it. Oh my goodness. Can I? Yes, I do. I see why. But I do appreciate a lot of you who answered the question I asked on the last Chit Chat video. And that was what show you're watching now. And I'm going to get to answering those comments as soon as I can. But um, I do, like everyone else, look forward to Empire coming back on. Because that show was definitely entertaining. Very entertaining. I'm going to use a little bit of this curling souffle. When I say a little, I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Not, not an awful lot. Because I'm dying to see what result I'll get from it tomorrow. When I take my twist out. Let's see what we get. It's just a little bit here on my hand. Like I said, I'm not going to use an awful lot. I'll make sure I get it from the root of my hair all the way to the tip of my hair. But this stuff really smells so good. It's going to twist me up. Mm. 
I was thinking about putting, um, what do you call those, some perm rods on the end of my hair, but I still may do that. Yeah, so, I just wanted to chit and chat with you guys, and like I said, this is not really a review, but I do like these products in my hair. It's Easter, and a lot of people are spending it with their families, cooking dinner today and such, but... Me, nah, I'm just washing my hair. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not cooking anything. We're not going anywhere. And nobody's coming over here. So that's how we do that for Easter Sunday. And like I mentioned, this is not a review. I'm trying to figure out if I should have used the style and missed another way. Hmm. Let's see how that works out. And because I think when I went on the website, it said you can use it in wet or dry hair. It seemed like it was a um. Kind of oily. That's it. So what are some of your Easter traditions, things that you do each Easter? Like I said, now I don't have any kind of Easter traditions. I know my mother probably, I don't think she probably went to church today. I wonder if she's cooking. She didn't say. But my Easter tradition now is just to be home and relax, really, whether it's Easter or any time of day. It doesn't any time really doesn't matter. <laughs> this is so flat. And the souffle is really let me see. Um let me show you what the souffle looks like too. I think I may put some perm rods on it on my hair. And I hate when my hair Balls up like that. Ooh, I just had one that balled up like that and I cut it right out of my head. And I probably should have left it so it can grow out some, but did I? Nope. Cut it right off. Sure did. I really need to detangle my hair. Like it ain't nobody's business, boy, I can tell you. But I wanted to get some coconut oil so I could sit down and take my time and do what I need to do to get done what I need to get done and has to tangle this stuff because my hair is like and I need to cut it again but I'm really trying to take care of it so that um because when it comes to retaining length I can retain length that's one thing it'll get long for me but my whole thing is not the length that I care so much about my whole thing is the fullness I want full hair I don't really care about it being long because it could be long and all scraggly and that's to me not cute. Your hair is cute when it's full and thick unless there's a reason for it not to be such as age, disease, medication, something like that. I wonder if I'm using it to my best advantage. Look, and I know it said you can use it in wet hair. But like I said, if you guys use any of these products, let me know. Especially that style and mist. How do you use it? I'm really curious to know. But like I said, we all know Shea Moisture has come out with... I was watching a video. I think her name was Natural... Okay, I'll look up the name and I'll put it in... In the um, right here in the video, I'll put it right in the video. Naturally for me, see, naturally for see me. Yeah, I think that's it. Naturally for see me. And she was just saying that she thought Shea Moisture had come out with some new products. I was like, no, well, this must be an old video. So I looked at the day. There was a recent video. The very next day, I was watching a video by Akushka going natural. 
and she mentioned that Shea Moisture, what she showed, Shea Moisture has new products already. I'm like, this company is killing us with the products, aren't they? I mean, I shouldn't say killing us because they make great products. But I mean, killing us because you want to try everything. If you like me, you try to get everything. But I calm down from that, though. I don't try to get everything like I used to when I first went natural. You talk about a product and I thought it was something I'd be interested in, I would buy it. And the bad thing about it is that you can't use everything. So why try to buy up everything, right? You buy a lot of makeup. You can't use all the makeup you have, right? So unless you buy just the minimum amount, but if you're buying a whole lot, how are you going to use all that makeup? Same thing with um, hair products and anything else, you know, that you don't use every day. Well, I mean, if you use certain products every day, of course you use them up, but I had to stop that. The only thing I get now, I do get the um, curl kit in the mail. And I need to stop that because I'm trying to figure out how I want to store my my um hair stash. I got to figure it out, y'all. I got to figure it out. Now, I remember hearing from other people when they talked about the souffle. I think I remember hearing people say they didn't like how it feel. I'm not sure if it's because I'm using it in conjunction with all this other stuff like the hair milk and the... The product, which I can't the smoothie, it doesn't feel too bad. I wonder how my hair is gonna feel when it dries. Yeah, but like I mentioned, going back to Kushka and she had the products. It's some in the um, what do you call it? The packaging is very pretty. It's like a green, mint green, sea green color, and I believe it has something to do with marine. But I can't think of the whole name of the, the um. product but it's something new from Shea Moisture and I was like oh my goodness now I have used other Shea Moisture products I don't know if you guys remember I had talked a long while ago about um the raw Shea Butter I think it's called and that stuff oh my goodness if I didn't have so many products now that I would definitely keep as a um, regular used product and whether I use it every week or not but my hair at times when I did have the product and it would be dry oh my goodness gracious I use that stuff and my hair would be so moisturized for like days days on end but I decided I need to try some other stuff that I have here before I buy anything else and to be honest I haven't bought anything I know recently I saw that um what's that store Rite Aid had um buy one oh no it was a Rite Aid was a Target had buy one get 50% off on um Shea Moisture and I want I think it was Walgreens not Rite Aid Rite Aid did have something but they don't have sales often with Shea moisture it seems like Walgreens have quite a bit of sales so it was Walgreens and I was ready to go and get some um of their conditioning clean co-wash and I said you know what don't you spend another dime on another hair product until you use 10 products <laughs> completely then you can buy one and I shouldn't even be doing that but I um just enjoy trying different things. Yeah. I just try different things. And if I had, um, like right now I have my stash on my dining room table, which I've had it there for quite some time because I wanted to do a product stash video. And if, I guess if I wasn't actually looking at how much I had every day that I go past my dining room table until I find where I'm going to stash this stuff, I probably would buy more. But every time I look at it, I'm like, you need not buy another 
hair product in the next couple of years. <laughs> yeah, because that's just how much stuff I have. I have quite a bit. And I need to start going through it real quick because there's a few things that I really want to give away because I don't need all that stuff. Because there's no way in the world that I'll be able to use it anytime real quick. Like you look at the stuff I'm using right now, how long you think this would take me to use up all this? I mean, it's going to be a while. And to be honest, after a while, I'm going to get bored with using it. That's pretty much how I roll. <laughs> I'll get something and then I get bored with it and I'm ready to go to something else. Yeah. And it's a good thing because I can just shop my stash. If you're a product junkie, how are you controlling your urge to buy anything? I control my urge by just not doing it. A lot of people, a lot of companies, I should say, I sign up for their alerts. And they always have, it seems like lately somebody's always having a sale these days. 25% off, 30% off, you know, 20% off of free shipping. And I get tempted, but I think to myself, I don't need to buy anything else. And it's not as hard as you think it is. Just don't do it. So, I'm just going to finish up my hair. I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. And to wish you all a happy Easter. And to let you know that I'm pretty much keeping up with my routine. And hopefully you're keeping up with your hair wash routine also. Because I know sometimes it doesn't. Well, it doesn't get easy because sometimes you just don't want to do it. And me, myself, I can see why mature women wear a wig. <laughs> Whether you're mature or young, I can see why you wear a wig. Because I do not want to fight with my hair. But at the same time, I, A, don't want to lose it. And B, I definitely don't want to lose it because I'm not taking care of my hair. So I'm going to keep it up and... Do all I can. I've been thinking about cutting it short just so I can have the ease of just getting up, putting the product in, fluffing it, washing it whenever I feel like washing it. I love, love, love being able to get into the um, shower and have the water just run on my hair. But I don't do that um, too much because a lot of times with this type of hair, it's, like I said, it just tangles so quickly. It tangles up so fast. Yes, but either way, I'm still having fun with my natural hair. I really do enjoy it, and someone mentioned to me on Instagram, which is definitely the truth, it was Coily Curly Kelly. I know her name, but I may have the Curly and Coily mixed up, but. She said that I don't, she's never seen me do a flexi rod or a perm rod set. And she hasn't, <laughs> this is true, because I just, I'm just so lazy. And I keep saying I'm going to do a hairstyle challenge. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that because now it's getting warm. So I'll tell you guys more about it. I just haven't figured out when I wanted to start and how many hairstyles I have to complete within whatever time frame I'm going to do it in. But... I'm going to do that soon. But getting back to Kelly, she's right. And I need to, because I want to, I have flexi rods, I have curl formers, I have those things, but I just haven't made an attempt to use them. And I think right now is the best time for me to do it before it gets too hot and it would make sense to do it. So we'll see if I buckle down sometime during the week and give my hair a great detangling because I see it well it's best to have your hair detangled as much as possible so if I'm able to do that this week I definitely definitely will definitely do some type of set 
-hmm. And it definitely will be inspired by Kelly. Yeah, she challenged me, so to speak. So I got to step up to the challenge. Besides, I want to anyway. Because I'm dying to see how my hair would look. But we'll see. I know I'm looking in the mirror. Because I'm trying to get this done, child. Even though it's Sunday and it's Easter. I have things I want to do. Not a lot, but I got to get them done. So like I said, I just wanted to come and chat with you guys. Wish you guys a happy Easter. And I'm not sure when you'll see this video, but if you happen to see it today, what did you do for Easter? If you happen to see it a couple of days from now, still, what did you do for Easter? Leave that in the description box. Share with everybody what you did for Easter. It's such a special holiday, special time in our lives, and a special time in the religious community, and so forth and so on. So... Yeah, that's it pretty much. I need to put my glasses on so I can see, but that's okay. I think I'm doing okay. But I just want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I'll let you guys know um, how I make out with these products in my hair during the whole week. You know, because I'm trying to do more videos other than um, curl cut curl kit unboxings because but that's really all the time I have really because a curl kit unboxing I can just do it in a couple of minutes and it's over and then I just want to share it with you guys but I don't want to only do curl kit unboxings because I have so many things that I want to share with you guys because I'm always on YouTube looking at um some of everything really but yes yeah, so I'm going to end this video now because, like I said, it's just a chit-chat video. And you guys have been with me um, long enough. I'm almost finished. I don't have that much to go. <laughs> so, I think I have maybe, like, um, another 15 minutes and then I'm done. So, I ain't going to keep y'all for the whole 15 minutes. But I just want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next and you know I want you to share and spread love. Thanks for watching.